Hi there, welcome back. I'm Barrett. Today we're going to go on a little site tour of the Wix editor. Just the very first screen you get to when you open up an account and open up a blank template. I'm gonna show you all around and we're going to upload a logo to our website. You've got your blank canvas here. This is like your website canvas and it's in sections that I'll show you in just a second. When I click on it, these buttons are going to disappear. So we're just going to talk about them for a sec. Add elements, add a section, menus and pages, type design. That is your um, fonts and your colors. Add apps. Um, that's an app market where you can go and find things like um, an Instagram feed or if you want to add a store, you're going to look in there for Wix stores or Wix bookings, something like that. Media are your media files, but you can also find the media in Add Elements as well. And blogging is if you want to add a blog. So I'm going to click on the screen here so that those disappear. So what we have on the screen, see it's not quite blank. We have three sections here on the screen. So first of all, you've got the header up here. And one thing to mention, your header is something that appears on every page. Every page will have your header unless you organize it or, or choose otherwise, which is unusual. Most of the time you'll want your header on every page. Then we've got a section down here and this is what you really kind of consider the main part of the page where you're going to put your content. And then at the bottom, you've got a footer. And the footer normally appears on every page. So in the header, you generally have your logo, you have a call to action button, and you have a menu. And then you've got all your content in here telling about your business and what you offer. And then down at the bottom in your footer, you generally have your logo again, your contact information. I like to put a second menu in the footer so that when people get to the bottom of the page, they don't have to go all the way back up to the top to navigate around your site. They can just go from there. Your social media goes down here. You don't want to put your social media in the header and I'll tell you why, because we do not want people leaving our site. You fought hard to get them to come to your website. You want to keep them on your website as long as possible. So we're going to put all the social media down in the bottom. Okay, so the first thing we want to do, we're going to upload a logo. So I'm going to, I can move this by dragging this little toolbar up and down. And I can move this section by dragging this down. And I can move this section by dragging that down. You'll notice these dot dot dots down at the side. Those are grid lines and it is telling you that you will want to keep your content in between these two grid lines so that when people view on a 27 inch screen it looks great which is what this is but if they look on a 13 inch little MacBook, or if they look on a tablet, which is even skinnier, that all your content is still gonna show. Now I'll teach you in another video how to be able to put stuff way out here at the sides. And you do that using strips and columns. Now we're gonna use media right now, we're gonna use just the middle, just the center part, because we're going to put a logo right in the center of the header. My favorite place for a logo is over at the left side, but occasionally we put them in the center. And this is going to be a photographer's website, so that's why I'm putting it in the center, because it's artistic websites. A lot of the time I put it up front and center. So I'm going to add elements. I'm going to add an image and I'm gonna to go to image uploads, my image uploads. And that is opening up, I'm gonna make me smaller. That is opening up your media, so your image files. So you've got site files, we haven't uploaded anything yet. 
we have got boards. That is how you create, board is sort of a file of images um, and video that you can share between your websites. And then you've got trash, we all know what that is. Um, then there's media from Wix and media from Shutterstock. And the Shutterstock media is $2.99 a picture, which is a really great price for a Shutterstock picture, honestly. And you can find so much in here. And Unsplash, which is another free place to get pictures. Unsplash has gorgeous pictures, really pretty pictures. And so if you go up to site file and you want to search for something and you can search in here why this came up into my head. Let's search windmill. Here are the windmill images from uh, Wix and you can click on see all and it'll show you all the windmill images from Wix, the windmill images from Unsplash, windmill <laughs> images from Shutterstock. Um, and so you can pretty much find anything from, you know, it, within these three media libraries that you need. You can usually, aside from your own pictures of yourself or for this one, as I said, it's a photographer, so we're going to be using all her images. But if you are, um, you know, a lawyer, a therapist, anything else where you're going to be using outside images, you're going to have no problem finding images in here for the most part. So what we're going to go back to is site files and then we're going to upload media here and we're going to upload from computer and I'm just going to click right on the logo that I made. So I'm going to drag over all three of these and open them onto the website and they're all going to magically upload. And then I'm going to take this one, click on it and add it to the page. And there it is. I'm just going to drag it down to the middle section here for a moment. I can change the size of this image two ways. I can crop it, which I'm going to do because I'm just going to get the size of the image a little closer in to the image itself. and click apply. And I can also just drag it and make it smaller. So now I'm going to take this up to the top in the header. And if I go up here, first of all, let's just save our site. And I'm going to save this as if I can. Okay. And I'm going to save that. I don't feel like publishing it right now. Although you can. I mean, people are always worried about publishing their, their sites that you know everybody's gonna go see it. Um, but uh, nobody's gonna see it. So then I can go into preview. And so that's what my site looks like so far. And back to the editor and that's what will appear on every page. So now I've added my logo. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to add a strip to the header with two columns in it so that if you want to, you can put the logo way out here and it will still appear on all websites. Thanks so much for watching. This video is one of a series teaching the very basics of how to build your Wix website. Little bite by little bite. Subscribe to my channel for more and check down below where I've put links for any other videos in this series that we've done so far. There will be more coming, so stay tuned.